Dieting is very difficult. Changing the amount of calories that you're putting in your body to change the way you look by either gaining body fat or losing body fat. Now, for someone like myself who's currently cutting, which means that I'm decreasing the amount of calories I'm eating, it can be very hard to stick to the diet if the food that you're eating isn't enjoyable or it isn't filling you up. So I've got three breakfast recipes that I eat quite a lot. They're all high in protein and all taste beautiful. I've got two sweet options and one savory option. They're all very low in calories, very high in protein, and guaranteed to fill you up. And yeah, they all taste banging. So let's get started with number one, protein oats. For this meal, you'll need 40 grams of oats, 100 milliliters of water, 100 milliliters of milk, 25 grams of protein powder of your choice, 20 grams of protein spread, and ground cinnamon. So first add the oats, milk, and water into a bowl and mix until combined. Then take that away and microwave for two minutes, or a little bit longer if you want a thicker consistency than this. Then add your protein powder, mix until combined. Now at this point, you can either add some protein spread, or what I also tend to do, take about 60 grams of frozen raspberries, microwave them for about one minute 30 just to make a little bit of a sauce and just pour that all over the oats both options are properly tasty now here i was actually a bit too excited to eat the oats and i forgot to add one of the ingredients and that is cinnamon which makes it taste even better without adding any extra calories this meal is a ridiculous 366 calories or with the protein spread it's 425 which is a little bit higher but it's still very good it has 33 grams of protein and it always fills me up. This one is my go-to breakfast. Yeah, some of you will know I'm just obsessed with this meal. So that's meal number one. Let's get on to number two, protein pancakes. So for this recipe, you will need 50 grams of my protein maple syrup pancake mix and 130 milliliters of water. That is it. That's all you need for this recipe. It is super simple to make. Just add the water and the protein powder into a shaker, add a little mixing ball, shake it all up, and that is it. That's your prep done. So get your pan, add some one calorie spray, or if you're me and you're an idiot, you've run out and you have to use actual butter on a cup. So yeah, add your spray or your butter, and then just do a couple small pancakes at a time, flipping them when they bubble up, and just continue that process until you've got no mixture left. And what you should end up with is this, a beautiful stack of pancakes. Now as a topping, I do the same thing for the oats. I grab 80 grams of frozen fruit, put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half to make a sauce, and just pour it all over the pancakes. Or use that spread I mentioned earlier, or in this case, just put them both on. This meal has 40 grams of protein and a ridiculous 240 calories with the frozen fruit. But if you choose the chocolate spread, it's only 300, which is still crazy. I, I actually don't understand how it's so low calories. It's a massive stack of pancakes. There's just so much of it. I don't understand how it works. And because of the high volume, it's definitely gonna fill you up. Yeah, those pancakes were a 10 out of 10. I'm on a cut and when I made those for demonstration purposes, I literally ate three quarters of them. I felt so bad after that. But yeah, it just proves how good they are. That is a 10 out of 10 meal, I promise you. If you did want to get some of this protein pancake mix, or anything for that matter, clear away, or even this tank top, all you have to do is click the first link in the description and use code HAL at checkout. You'll get a fat discount off your order. Yeah, you can save yourself money and get a banging breakfast out of it as well. Yeah, if you want to get any of that stuff, first link in the description, use code HAL. Cheers. So let's get on to the final breakfast option, the savory meal, an omelette. For this meal, you'll need one egg, three egg whites, a splash of milk, half a red pepper, and one spring onion. First, crack your one egg into a bowl and then proceed to separate the yolks from the whites for the next three eggs. Then put that aside and then chop up your red pepper into very small chunks. And then do the same with the spring onion. Then bring back your egg mixture and whisk in the red pepper and the onion. And add a little bit of pepper for taste. Then come over to your pan and add some fry light, or in my case, butter. And add the mixture and mix it around until you start to see it cook around the edges. At that point, get a lid that's way too small for the pan and cover it. And let it simmer for about five minutes or until it's set. Move on to a plate and add some low fat cheese. And if you want some low calorie sauce, and that's it, you're good to go. For me, this is very good as a savory option. It has 34 grams of protein and only 302 calories. And that low calorie count is down to the three egg yolks that aren't in it. As that's where the majority of the calories come from with eggs. With this meal, I do appreciate that not everyone wants to eat peppers and onions for breakfast, especially in an omelet. I can see it as a little bit weird, but you don't necessarily have to add those ingredients. You can just leave them out or look for something else that suits you. Now for my two honorable mentions. These aren't meals as themselves, but you can add them onto each meal to make it even better. First thing, 
jelly. For a massive bowl of jelly, it's only about 10 calories, which is crazy. Make sure to use sugar-free jelly though. You don't want any sugar in your jelly. You can have this on top of every other breakfast and it's just such a good way to destroy sweet cravings. And my other honorable mention is actually Clearway. Now this stuff is 80 calories and 20 grams of protein per serving. So it will increase your total calories a bit, but also increase the protein by 20 grams. So let's say you have the pancakes. You take it from 300 calories and 40 grams of protein to 380 calories with 60 grams of protein. Now for me, I'll always go with this one. Personally, I want that extra protein and this stuff just tastes amazing. So yeah, those are my three meals. Not one of them is over 500 calories and two of them are barely scraping 300 calories. And they're all super high in protein. These three meals have really helped me stay on track so far during my cut. And hopefully some of you guys try these recipes at our home. And that's it. Again, if you do want to get something off my protein, first link in the description, use code HAL at checkout. You'll get a big discount. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.